Hi, I'm Richard down here at DeFal Chevrolet. Today we're going to talk about the Blazer EV and the functions of the charging. So right here we have our door. You can see these two little notches. We'll go ahead and push that. That'll come down. This right here is where we're going to charge it. Right here you see this little knob. We're going to pull that. That's for your DC fast chargers. Yeah. So you can see there's two little plugs here. That's if you get to so somewhere that has a DC fast charger. If you don't need it, you just put this plug back in. Now, we're gonna plug this in right here. Now, if you come over here, you're gonna see a solid green light. That solid green light means it's charged, which means we have it charged and ready for you to come look at. Now, also, if it's flashing green, it means that it's charging. And this display right here, it's not on right now, but it'll do some cool light movement right through here. Now, we're going to head to the back and I'm going to kind of touch base on how the chargers work. Now, one function that I have set on right now, I have the key in my pocket. That beeping is going to open the trunk for me, okay? You can shut that off in the settings later. I like having it on so I can show you. Now, right here is what it's going to come with when you first purchase your Blazer EV. The cord that I have plugged in right here is a level one charger. You're going to get three to four miles to the battery and range per hour. This one right here is a level two. This is a 220 outlet, standard dryer plug-ins. Now you're gonna get 32 to 40 miles of range per hour on this charger. And then also right here to shut this, just hit this little button and down it'll go. Like I said, you can shut the feature off with the keys in your pocket so it doesn't open automatically. Now we're inside of the Blazer EV. The cool function is if you have the key in your pocket, you hit the brake, the vehicle is now started. Now on your display, you're gonna see a bunch of functions. Uh, right now, we're only gonna focus on charging. So right here, you're gonna see charging, the little bolt, we're gonna hit that. Now, the first screen you're gonna to come to is going to be your base information of setting the charge to 80%. Why is that important? To maximize your range, you wanna set it to 80%, and after 80%, the other 20% takes hours to get to. So 80% is more than enough for your daily use. Here we're going to hit charge later we're going to set a time for peak hours of charging so that way you get the most charging out of your day so peak charging times is very important if you know those times you could set it for those times scheduling same thing if you know peak times and you're at home or at work and you want to charge it you schedule it for those peak times so you get the most out of your charging experience we're going to go back here preconditioning now preconditioning is important so I wake up at 7.30, it's important for me to have the cab ready. Now, while it's plugged in, it's gonna pull power from the house and it's gonna help me on range because when the blower motors are on, it's gonna use a lot more battery. So it's gonna give me more range because it's plugged in and it's preconditioning. So when I unplug it, I still have 80%. So that's one of the many functions of the Blazer EV. There's a lot more functions that I'd love to go over with you or anybody else that's interested in the Blazer EV. Again, my name is Richard Lidister down here at Fowl Automotive and I look forward to helping you with your next EV purchase.